right, now I'm going to show you a little cool down routine. We're going to start by coming to the end of a mat. You can use a mat, a towel, wherever you are. We're going to take, you can go straight to the grass if you want. We're going to take our hands nice and high up, big stretch through the body. So this is something you would do after you've worked out. Inhaling here. Exhale, taking your hands down towards your feet. Trying to keep your legs nice and straight. You're going to walk your hands out and you're going to hit this high plank position right here. Okay, just breathe, inhale and exhale. Then you can take your knees down to the mat and you can rest your chest all the way down. Your hands are still right under your shoulders. You're going to push your chest off the mat. Your core stays engaged. Your shoulders are down. Your neck's long. We're going to hold this cobra pose. If this is too much on your lower back, you can keep it lower here. Or you can just do it up on your elbows. We just want to try to get a gentle stretch in your lower back. So taking that up and hold. Inhaling nice and deep. And exhale. And then roll it all the way back down. And we're going to roll over onto our back. And first we're going to take our hands long behind you. A big stretch through the body. You're going to lift your hands, your head and shoulders is going to follow, your belly stays tucked. You can always use your hands to help you if you need to. We're going to roll all the way up to sitting and then stretching towards those toes. And think about your chest coming towards your knees and your feet are flexing back so you get a little stretch in your calf at the same time. And hold that for just a few breaths. And then take a hold of your right leg as you roll down, right leg goes up and you can either hold right here behind the thigh or behind your calf and you want to pull that leg in towards you. Exhale and stretch just a little bit further. And then we're going to take that right ankle and cross it over your left knee. Now you can either grab right here behind your thigh or all the way around to your knee. And on this one, you can rest your head and shoulders down if you want and just pull that knee in towards your chest. After a few breaths of that, we're going to switch to the other leg. Left leg goes up either behind the thigh or the calf and hold. I keep getting sweat beads on me. And then cross that left leg over the right knee. Now this is a figure four stretch and this one's a great one if you have any um, lower back tightness, any pain that comes into your knee from your hips. This is a good hip stretch. Gets down in there nice and deep. Hold this. Good. Then we're going to bring both legs together, keeping our knees bent. Our hands are going to come out to the side and we're going to gently, gently drop your knees to the side. You don't want to take them too low if you feel any pain or um, bad discomfort, but a little stretch is okay, gentle stretch. And then bring that back to the center and lower to the other side. Exhaling as you do and just hold for a few breaths, letting the back relax. Trying to keep this opposite shoulder down on the mat. Good. Now we're going to roll all the way back over to our stomach again, going back to that cobra that we did before. Hands into the shoulders, pushing the chest up, core tight. And then we're going to release our hips so that we're in all, all fours here. And we're going to round the back, opening the back, head drops down, belly button pulls up. And then inhale, look forward and let the shoulders down, neck long. Good. You can repeat that, exhaling and inhale. Then you're going to turn your toes under behind you. Push yourself up into a downward dog with your heels pushing towards the floor. And then slowly walking your hands into your feet so we come right back up to where we started. Now there's just a couple more, and there's a lot more stretches we could do here. This is just a general cool down. If you bring that back to that side lunge like we did in the warm-up with your shoulder down, neck long, getting that shoulder stretch, especially if you work arms and whatever workout you did, you want to stretch those shoulders. 
And then you can turn so you're in that side lunge, hips forward, knees dropping down. You can stretch your tricep here at the same time, bringing your hand between your shoulder blades. And then we'll do the other side, side lunge first with the arm across, shoulder down, neck long. And then facing the side with the hip forward, knee dropping down and that right arm reaching between your shoulder blades. Then just bring it back to the center and take a big inhale up, reaching for the sky. It's nice doing this in the sunshine instead of the aerobics room. Then exhale, reach towards the front, rounding those shoulders. Inhale, open your hands, thumbs are back. Stretch across the chest and the shoulder here. Exhale, back to the front. Inhale to the ceiling or the sky. Exhale to the side. Inhale to the top, exhale, inhale right here, and then exhale down, and you're cooled down.